Hi everyone, my name is Bindu. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about combining different files in Power BI. Usually in real world, what happens is you get a lot of files through SSIS packages or some process. Uh, they put all the files in one folder and you will have to pick those files and generate reports based based on the data from those files. Sometimes you get data every day, you get data monthly, weekly. So whatever files are there in that folder, you have to take those files in that folder and create reports based on that. All the files that are there in that folder have to be of same format. They should have uh, the format same, the column name same, everything has to be same except the data. And now let's dive into my laptop and create this report in Power BI. Let's open the Power BI desktop. I have my files. I just created some sample files and I put them in and I put them in this monthly folder. So I have July and August files. There's this very little data in here, like three rows in each of them, uh, just some sample data. So I just have three records here and uh, even in August file, I have same number of columns and uh, different dates. Now I want to create Power BI report using all the files that are there in this folder. Okay, so now uh, we are on the Power BI desktop. So the first thing you do is you click on the get data here and then go to more. Okay, so here uh, here we are actually picking up files, right? So you go to file tab in get data you go to file tab and from here our files they are there in a folder right so you go to this folder and you have to browse the path of that folder so i go to browse this pc so i have my data i have my files in this monthly folder so i click on this folder and then say okay now you see the data in here um so so the Power BI, it picked up both the files that are there in that folder. And now um, you see combine here, right? You, you, there are two options here. If you want to combine, you can just combine and load the data and combine and transform the data. So if you click on combine and transform, if there are, if there are any transforming changes that you have to do, like a formatting, uh, formatting a column from both the files, or adding, appending some text or whatever formatting that you usually do in all the other um, with that you usually do with all the other files you can do here as well okay I'm just saying okay here because we clicked on transform the data as well so it opened this power query editor for us so here you see the data right uh, so the source name the file name is August file name august 2022 uh, july 2022 so you have the file name and the data got merged here okay so the data from august you have here the data from uh, july you have it here so let's say um and i just want to rename this column to number of items so yeah and now you don't have to change it in both the files or in all the files that are there in that folder you just change it here and then we are good so now you say close and apply that's all so now you see the uh, monthly data set here we combined both the files that are there in that folder so this is how you combine all the files that are there in one particular folder and remember all those files have to be in the same format okay so this is how you combine different files in power bi we'll meet in the next video with another important and useful topic or with other interview question until then keep learning